and want to find out the truth of this extraordinary state. Together, please, this is a very serious game we are playing. It's beyond chess, beyond football, beyond everything. It's a game of... We are playing a game with delight, enjoying the game. And therefore, a mind that is eager to find out, not saying, I must find out because I, will, I like to live next life. I'm frightened of death. Therefore, please tell me if there's something more. That's not playing the game. So we are together trying to find out the truth of this thing. Because death must be the most extraordinary experience. much greater than so-called love, much greater than any desire, any idea, any conclusion, because it may be the end of everything, the end of every form of relationship, every form of recollection, remembrance, accumulation, It might be total annihilation, right? Complete ending of everything, and one must find out what is the truth of this matter. To find out the truth, to come upon it, every form of identification must end, right? Every form of fear and the desire for comfort. It is that desire for comfort may create illusion. And therefore, uh, one caught in that illusion, say, yes, there is a marvellous state after death. So, we are clearing, we are, we are learning how to observe the way of observation, which is holistic, which means there is no fear, there is no desire for comfort, there is no illusion, and therefore the mind is completely free to look. Are we doing this? Which means you have no attachment. Which is enormously difficult. Because I am attached to my wife, house, ideas, conclusions, and therefore I am frightened to let go. I am frightened to be completely alone. We explain that word, alone means all one. So, no attachment of any kind to anything, to ideas, to persons, to your future hope. Please, this, if you are playing the game, this is very, very serious. To your son, to your daughter, to your wife, to your husband, no attachment. Which doesn't mean that you become callous. 
Attachment means uh, when there is attachment, there is delusion, illusion. And when there is illusion, there is no clarity. And when there is no clarity, there is no freedom, and therefore no order. So, mind must have no identification with the name, with the form, or with any person, idea, conclusion. Is that possible? And as we said, that does not deny love. On the contrary, when you are attached to a person, there is no love, there is dependence, there is a fear of loneliness, to be left alone in a world where everything is so terribly insecure, both psychologically as well, as well as outwardly. Therefore, desire to be attached to something. 